October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and Dr. Frida Lewis Hall, the Chief Medical Officer of Pfizer, is back. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, always great to be here. Always great to be here. You know, today we're going to talk about metastatic breast cancer, and this is a stage of breast cancer that not very many people know very much about. Now, metastatic breast cancer is when the cancer cells from the primary site, which is in this case, is the breast, spreads beyond the breast to other areas of the body, to the lymph nodes, to the bloodstream, and ultimately to other organs like the brain, the lung, the liver, and the bone. Let's take bone metastases, for example. When the cancer cells from the breast spread to the bone, a lot of people think that's bone cancer, and it's not. It's actually breast cancer in the bone, or metastatic breast cancer. And of course, you can treat cancer, and yet it can recur. And of course, recurrence means the cancer has come back, in this case, breast cancer. Now, most deaths from breast cancer are from complications of recurrent or metastatic disease. In the U.S., it affects up to 250,000 people. Of course, most of those are women. Noreen is one of those women. She's here to share her experience. Noreen, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Tell us a little bit about your experience. Well, 13 years ago, I was diagnosed with stage one breast cancer. It was a very small tumor. I had a lumpectomy, and they said there was a 96% chance it wouldn't come back. Two years later, it came back into my bones and into my liver. The last 11 years, I've been doing uh, different regimens of chemotherapy, and I go from you know one to another to another because cancer is smart, and it outsmarts the drugs. Speaking of metastatic disease, the median survival for metastatic breast cancer, it's three years. You're still here. And explain to us, you know, why that is. Well, I was very lucky to be accepted into a phase one drug study. And I am taking uh, a drug that is working. It has stopped the growth of my liver metastasis. And you know all the side effects from chemotherapy. I don't even have to go, I've had them all. And so I'm thrilled that I was able to get onto this study. And this past May, my daughter graduated from college and I was there. Mm -hmm. And in two years, my son's gonna graduate for college and I plan to be there too. Good for you. Absolutely. Now I know you have seen a lot and heard a lot over the last 13 years. Tell me, what do you think are some of the major misconceptions about metastatic breast cancer? They think they didn't get the right care, they didn't put time into it, they didn't uh, work on prevention methods, and none of that's really true. You know, it's interesting, we conducted a recent study and found exactly the same misconception. So one of the other common misconceptions that we found in the survey was that people believed that metastatic breast cancer or advanced breast cancer was actually curable. And although early detection at any stage is really important, there's no cure yet for metastatic breast cancer. That's why it's so very important to continue medical research, to do clinical trials, and to have the kind of participation in clinical trials that Noreen does. And Noreen, you're obviously an inspiration. What advice do you have for people who may be living with breast cancer? Well, I think people who first get a diagnosis, I'd like to say, please get more than one opinion. Make sure you have the right doctor, do your homework, go on the internet, figure out, if you have it now, figure out what the new drugs are that are coming out, and also make sure that you get yourself into some emotional support group. It's really important to share your feelings. All great advice. And you know, we have to applaud you. We just have to take this moment to applaud you. just for your courage with your own diagnosis, but also because the advocacy you have done on behalf of looking for a cure for metastatic breast cancer. You established Stand Up to Cancer and a foundation that has raised millions of dollars towards cancer research. So job well done. Thank you. And for further resources, people can go to gethealthystayhealthy.com. Hey, I'm Dr. Travis Stork. Press here to subscribe to the Doctor's YouTube channel and press here to help reduce tension.